damage in this sector thanks to the fighter squadron facility you're about to attack. We want to seize it, but their air defenses are too strong for our frontal assault. Losses would be too cost prohibitive. How do you want me to handle this? Go in the back, bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. This is Hill, and we are here on the crew deck of the Normandy. Specialist Trainer has informed us that Tally needs to be checked up on, and I believe she's here in this observation deck. Am I right? Am I wrong? There she is. Apparently she was upset about the events that occurred on Horizon. Let's see what she's got to say. Shepard! Uh-oh. Want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda, I think. Uh, how are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Torian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency oh, induction really? port. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude and, and still... She got it done. She stopped her father. Okay. I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I didn't like her. Kila, she was such a <laughs> bitch. But I respected her. Sometimes that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him, never changed herself to please him. All right, well, thank you, Tally. I'm not sure I really needed to come down here for that. Oh, look. People can play cards. And there... Who is smoking on the Norman... Really? There is a lit cigarette. Several lit cigarette. You know what? I'm going to have whoever that is written up. We are not having that on board a ship with where we have re recycled air and whatnot. We can't have people smoking on board. What do they think this is? Some sort of a luxury liner? Wonder, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Oh, I know. Don't I always? Oh boy, a news alert. Well, I'm not reading this today. I'll just let you guys pause and scan all right Cerberus data okay let's read this one because this might actually be important I have managed to decrypt the file you took from an Eclipse group on Loric oh that was in Mass Effect 2 it came from an agent Tyrone Rawlings I remember Previously a high-level Cerberus operative, I have been utilizing my spare computing power to decrypt it. It kept me occupied during the dry dock. It is valuable information. It contains the locations of a dozen cells, some of which are still active, and more importantly, decryption key protocols. It may be possible to infiltrate the entire Cerberus network with this. I have transmitted the data to Hackett and Fifth Fleet Command. Good work, Edie. All right, this is Captain Riley. Commander, my squad continues to defend the fuel reactor on Sion. The Reapers seem intent on taking it down. Not on my watch. We will hold the line. All right, Liara. Shepard, my latest information shows that the Hourglass Nebula has come under Reaper attack. I still have a large amount of support staff currently stationed on a facility on a Lingon? They are vital to my operations and have been assisting 
With collating data for the crucible and providing fleet logistics, the planet has severe magnetic storms that will help mask their location, but that won't hide them from the reapers for very long. With the amount of sensitive data and the assistance we provide, we need to get them out of there as soon as possible. That sounds like that might be an EGM mission. All right, well, I said at the end of the last episode that I had a surprise, but I'm the one that ended up getting a surprise because we've gotten a new mission. So what I had planned will have to be delayed for another episode. All right, so here we are in orbit of Horizon and we are leaving. All right, so what is lit up on the map? All right, here it is. Whoop, whoop, no, this is not it. Okay, but there is the Cerberus fighter base. Is that what, um... All right. I think this, there should be an N7 mission. There are two missions here. And we don't, okay, yeah, here it is, the Novaria mission, because we don't want to assault the elusive man's base yet, because that is the beginning of the end of Mass Effect 3. So once we start this, there's no turning back. So we're going to do this. All right, Novaria. All right, you should be familiar with Novaria from the original Mass Effect, so we're just going to go ahead and land. It's very cold, very snowy very frigid, very inhospitable. <laughs> Need I go on? All right, so let's see here. We are dealing with, not sure what we're dealing with. Um, but you know, we're gonna take James and Garrus. It's time for just a, a little bit of tech action here. I might have to redo this armor because I'm not happy that the only thing we have is power and power damage and power recharge. Although it worked out just fine, but it seems like he should have other things other than that. Okay, let's see here. We've got... Uh, is this Garrus or is this James? This is James with a Faiston. Why would James be carrying a Faiston? How about the Argus? That seems like something he would carry. Okay, and we'll put a piercing mod on there. damage mod. Okay, so he's got... Oh no, the Argus is only level 1. No, 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 no. <laughs> and here here I said I updated all these things. So we have the Atus. There's a lot of them I didn't update. I don't know, should I give him a particle rifle? Why not? Alright, so... Particle rifle... With a piercing mod. And damage increase. Okay, so we got that. And the Crusader, it's already modded. Good. Alright, so here we have... Okay, good. We have a Mantis at level 5. And the Faiston, which is a Turian weapon at level 5. Looks like we're good. All right. We did level up in our last mission, but I don't have enough to max out any of these things here. No. Garrus, what can we do for you? All right, let's max out Turian Rebel. Increase power damage of squad mates by 
Or sni what? 60% sniper rifle damage? Okay, I can't say no to that. <laughs> Alright. And we are going to... Let's see. Headshots by 25. Ammo capacity by 30%. That would be nice if that was squad ammo capacity. It might be. I don't know. I'm going to do it. Alright, and James, let's max out your ability, increase uh, increase squad health and shields. Uh, yeah, we'll increase the squad, maybe we'll be a little bit tougher. And let's increase his fortification. Damage protection, take that. All right, I think we're good. Commander, the enemy has a strategic advantage in this sector thanks to the fighter squadron facility you're about to attack. We want to seize it, but their air defenses are too strong for a frontal assault. Losses would be too cost prohibitive. How do you want me to handle this? Go in the back, bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops. Good luck, Commander. I have visual contact. There's a small platform above the main landing pad. I can drop you there, but it's got to be now. Let's do it. This is another multiplayer map. It's Cerberus. Okay, James. Squad incendiary ammo. Oh, good. Somebody to shoot. Attention right. Thank you. Gosh, I miss these ammo powers. Anybody else? And what's this? Spare parts? Oh! Garrus overload. Alright, come on, let's move down. Pistol Magazine Upgrade 2. Meta Gel or Experience instead. Let's examine this console. Weekly processing report from Sergeant Parker. All on-base personnel have been processed. Integration protocols updated successfully. Where is, um... Where's Garrus? Alright, I'll take Carnage from you. Uh, I guess cluster grenades from me. Oh. 
Looks like we found the control center. All right, we've got 2,000 credits. Garrus, thanks for coming back to join us. Let me just make sure I've got everything before we move this along. There's ammo for me, since I'm the only one that actually uses it. All right, some spare parts, 2,000 more credits. Med kit. but we're good. All right. Let's begin. Damn it. This will take a while. Commander, you've got enemies inbound and we can't wait. Someone's got to get those defenses down ASAP. Oh, boy. It's one of these things. Um... Let's assign James. Lieutenant, you're on. Do my best, Commander. Hopefully we will ready, maintain the uh, incendiary ammo. Commander, I've been flushed from cover. Retreating to minimum safe distance. No problem, Cortez. Get out of there. We'll wait for your all clear, then relay to the strike force. Warning. Warning. Security breach. Oh, what? Bring down the all right where who else oh look out Garrus Get him? Command. Commander, shutdown command has to be synced up from the console. Okay. Defense system deactivated. General order 7 slash 7 triggered. Establish contingency defenses. Heavy deployment to the landing pad, Commander. Then that's where we need to go. Alright, let's go, people. Oh! Wasn't expecting this. Alright, let's have a frag grenade. And overload. Frag grenades. Thank you. Let's get rid of this annoyance. Cortez, I read you. Come in. There you are, Commander. Had to get through the interference. Area clear. Signaling the strike force. Wait. Scan's picking up something coming your way. Proximity alert. Deploying armed response. And Atlas, terrific. From which way? Give it everything you've got. Where is it? Okay. Let's go. Frag grenade. Just the usual minor flesh wound. <laughs> Garrus. 
You gotta be kidding. Copy that, Lieutenant. What? Okay, I didn't copy that, but okay. Looks like we're done here. This was a major victory, Commander. A crippling blow to Cerberus operations in this sector. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. Thank you, sir. That's all. Hack it out. All right. Got a lot of credits for that. Trying to make up for all that I spent or wasted, whichever you want. Wait, whichever you wait, you want to look at that. All right. So we got minor colonial support. So if you look at our military strength, it's at twenty-four thirty-five. We need to get to the end of that bar. And we've got ex Cerberus. Oh, look, Miranda and Jacob. Advanced Fighter Squadron. Nice. All right. And I believe there is one other person, because this is uh, probably a short episode at this point. We can go and talk to someone else. Unread messages at your private terminal. Oh, Mark. of course. Is there ever not unread messages? Earlier, we had gotten um, a message to visit Tally in engineering. She said that's where she... But maybe she's still upstairs drinking. No, look. Here she is. In front of the Tantalus Drive. Tally? Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. Uh, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jumpstarting our immune systems. Wow, how can they do that? That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. Hmm, that is amazing. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you? No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm, that's pretty amazing. How intertwined the Quarians and the Geth actually are. Um, is there anything we can say to Engineer Donnelly? Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. Okay, thank you. Alright, let's get back up here and see what additional messages we may have. Commander, Admiral Hackett is available in the war room on VidCon. Okay, we've just talked to him. Minuteman Station, intel given to us by Edie, has been a big help in planning our next offense against Cerberus. It turns out they may have a major base called Minuteman Station that's located in the Horsehead Nebula. The encryption protocols obtained should be enough to give us complete access to their systems. 
We can't afford to leave our flank open to an attack from Minuteman while we go after the elusive man's headquarters in Anadius. So, either we divide our forces or take out Minuteman first. The Salarians seem eager to help coordinate this attack. It seems that after Cerberus' attack on Sir Kesh, they're eager for a fight. By all reports, the station is extremely well defended, so we need to hit them everywhere we can to take away their advantage before we launch our attack. Latest reports show that there are fighters and a fuel station on Novaria that could certainly be a good place to strike first, which we just did. Either way, we should try to take Minuteman intact. Who knows what intelligence and equipment we could acquire over there. Excuse me. And that's from Admiral Stephen Hackett. Tally Zora Shepard, I've been getting a number of requests from people wanting to join my engineering team. It seems that everyone wants to serve on the Normandy now. And to think the Admiralty Board tried to humiliate me by calling me Voss Normandy. I talked to Adams and he seems eager to add more experts who could help improve the ship's performance. I have added their details to the crew manifest. All right, we haven't looked at our manifest in a while. Where is that? Here. Uh, squad, crew. Do we have room for... Okay, propulsion engineer. Nobody. There, there are no candidates. Medical team. Oh, we can add some more people here. Uh, trauma specialist, it adds 2% health. Biotic specialist, 2% power damage. And a psychologist who gives us 1% weapon damage and power cooldown. I'm going with the health. All right, so we've added Dr. Coronand, I think it is. Cornand. Engineering, here we go. So, a virtual geth. Wow. Ken Rador Vastabra. Okay. Zara Win Vas Alscor. Uh huh. Oh, we could have a geth unit. Wow, this is amazing. Mil Serum Vas Jaffis. Or just geth. All right, well, I'm going to do Ken Rador Vastabra. All right, so we'll have two Quarians on board. Anyone else? Oh, we got more engineering? Okay. Huh. All right, so we'll have two Quarians, and we will add a Geth. Since they are just, you know, getting along famously now. All right, I think we've filled all the slots now, except for this propulsion engineer, which I guess would have been Gabriella Daniels, I think her name was, who died because we tried to save the Geth and do... Legion's loyalty mission and shouldn't have done it then, but anyway, I guess there are no other candidates, but you know, hopefully we'll, we'll survive without a propulsion engineer. Okay, oh, look at the bonuses. Dr. Cornan, Ken Rador Vastabra, Unit 651.35E, and we have assignment Minuteman Station. All right, we're going to end our episode here. And I don't know if I can promise the surprise yet because I think we have a lot of other side things to do because we really need to get our military strength up because we are at almost at the very end of the game. But anyhow, until next time, this is Hill and I'm out.